Yeah. So, I swear Mail I is, the, is that the company that runs the Trans Canadian? Railway? Yeah, the, the modern version. The original one was the Canadian Pacific Railway and Canadian National Railway built Transcontinental Railway, but in 1974 they merged the Great Via Rail. Just kind of like Can, uh, Canada's version of Amtrak in the US. Yeah. One of the things that's on my bucket list is to do Oh, it's great. Oh, that train ride, the Canadian? Yeah. yeah. It is fantastic. That's yeah. the one I'm going to. It goes to yeah. Toronto. That's yeah, the yeah, one I'm on. Is that you going on that? Oh, yeah, I have to. That's that's one of my trips. Yes. This is Canada Place. This was yeah, built yeah. for Expo. Yeah. It's that's the only it. pavilion that was main, uh, removed from the main ferry site of False Creek. Became our cruise ship terminal and convention center after the expo, so that's what it is now. Off to the right is the port of Vancouver Main Terminal. Shipping is the biggest industry in the Vancouver area. Of course. To and from Vancouver. Yeah. From, to and from around the world. Shipping. Well, well where you have water. <laughs> so Canada Place is now our original convention center and cruise ship terminal. Mm. The cruise ships bring in over a million visitors to Vancouver. Oh. To and from the city on the cruise ships. Mm. Uh, from a convention center perspective, it's known as the East Building. Mm -hmm. If you look closely, it says Vancouver Convention Center East. So it's the East Building for conventions. Oh, look at the mountains right yes, there. That's the North Shore. Shore. It looks beautiful. And the one with the uh, tower on the top is Grouse Mountain. And mm. below at the base of that is the Capelona Suspension Bridge, and Capelona Fish Hatchery, and Capelona Water Reservoir, and Capelona River, and Capelona Valley. All that kind of stuff. That's the North Shore. When you look at that direction, you're looking north. That's yes. the southern end of our coastal mountains. We go from Alaska to Vancouver beside the Pacific Ocean, mm. which connect with the Rockies in Alaska. Wow. Lots of volcanoes. Oh, really? Yeah, all along the west coast, part of the ring of fire around the Pacific Ocean. Really? We get a lot of earthquakes here, 300 or 400 a year. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm not... about 200. Um, let's see here. I'll, Big earthquake about once every 241 years on average. Small mm. ones only happen. A, sorry, a small ones frequently. Mm. Um, 300, 400 a year. Once a big one, big mega thrust about once every 241 years on average, according to yeah. historical records. What's that? Are you the yeah. So according to geological evidence, it's about every 241 years. According to historical records, last big one, seven year 1700. Overdue for another big one. Yeah. As we are. Well, let me get out of town as yeah. quick as possible. Yeah, but uh, the small ones we get frequently release pressure and okay. builds up, so that helps. There's the helijet. That's a really nice smooth rock. Get it once it goes to Victoria. And you can go a few other places on that too. something releasing steam? Something's going on over there. I don't know what that is. But there is some steam coming up. Too, yeah. So BC Place, or uh, sorry, Canada Place here, my apologies, mm. has a very popular attraction called Flyover Canada. It's a multi sensory flight simulation ride. Mm. It's really nice. It's it's flight simulation ride. Yeah, Flyover Canada. It's pretty cool. Mm. And also, there's a um, really nice archaeological exhibit on a big screen of King, the artifacts of the King Tut thing. So, because it's on a huge screen, you're seeing everything super close up, like way better than if you actually saw it in real life. Mm -hmm. It's quite an impressive exhibit. It's done by National Geographic. Here's our newer convention center building, built in 2008 to add to uh, Canada Place. It's the West Building. Mm -hmm. There's a tunnel under the street which connect both convention centers. Well, can you tell us about this uh, Burrard Street? Burrard Street, yeah. And the uh, Burrard Inlet here, actually, the harbor on between the Vancouver downtown and the North Shore. Named after Harry Burrard of the British Navy. I'll tell you more about him in a bit. But Burrard Street's got some interesting buildings. There's the Marine Building on the left. Mm -hmm. I'll show you that. But there's a good look at it. We'll go get a closer look at the front of it shortly. Okay. The Marine Building. The brown building with the cream trim. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was built in 1930 at a cost of $2.3 million. The mm -hmm. Guinness family, famous for Guinness Stout Beer. Yeah, my favorite. Who became a financial presence in Vancouver's early days. Mm -hmm. Bought that building just after the depression for less than half the cost of its construction, mm. just under one million. So they got a bargain on it when they bought it. That was the tallest building in the British Empire when it was built. Oh, so you still you even have a Rexall Duck store here. That, that, oh yeah. We no longer have that around. Yeah. They supposed to hell says I just read this, or sort of they they sell something that you can't get anyplace else. I forgot what it was, but. Huh. Kind of. That's one of the better 
pharmacies in the Vancouver area. It's a lot of stuff that I get there myself, like deodorant and stuff, natural mineral stuff that you can't buy at a lot of other stores. There is the Fairmont Hotel Vancouver way up the road, also mm -hmm. to the left. With the, with the green roof? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, only the frame was built in 1929. The, construct, uh, the Depression put the construction on hold for a bit. They finished it in the early 30s, and it was officially inaugurated in 1939 by King George VI and his consort, Queen Elizabeth, the uh, mother of Queen Elizabeth II. Mm. They visited Vancouver and inaugurated a whole bunch of things. Mm. Over here on the right is the Christmas market. Behind it is the uh, oh. the Olympic Cauldron, which remains in Vancouver permanently and relit on special occasions. Mm. Now, the newer convention center building has a grass roof four times, sorry, three times the size of a football field with 400,000 plants and four beehives on it. Is it an open garden? I mean, no, you can't go up there. It's uh, closed off to the public, right. but it's kind of a symbol of the green attempt to yeah. make Vancouver a clean, green city. It's mm -hmm. a symbol of that kind of. Yeah. 